What's up? It's Monday. I think it's six o'clock. Okay, we're trying to find our thing here. Uh, <laughs> it always takes a little bit. It's not on there. Are you sure we're live? Yep. Yep. Is that it? What is that? Yep. Oh yeah. That is I it. don't know why that was on there. That's okay. strange. Weird thing with there. technology. Just yeah. That's just me. Oh, there's oh, Nancy. Says, Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Good Hi, to Nancy. See I think you. Linda's on there. You'll understand the mask here in a second. And Sharon. You'll understand why we have masks. Make mask sure to comment so we It's really cool why we Hi, have masks on, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Linda. Why aren't the rest of the names coming up? I don't want to touch this thing. Yeah, don't touch it. Don't knock it off. Don't knock We've it off. Done. We're trying to beat the rain right now. We know we got rain coming, so if you see us grab this and start running, you'll know why. Uh, oh, you know, one thing while we're waiting for everybody to get on there, I want to tell everybody that Kimmy and I, next week, Holy Week, we're so excited about that because we get to see everybody and gather. We haven't, we couldn't gather for last year's Holy Week at all. We couldn't gather uh, this year um, in Advent season for Christmas. So this is like on steroids gather uh, at, for Easter. I can't wait. Uh, so one of the things Kimmy and I thought we we're going to try and we we're going to do is we're going to hi Victoria to share yeah. is we're going to we're going to do a Facebook live every night of Holy Week uh, because every day has something special in Holy Week. So we're going to we're going to get together uh, live at six o'clock every live. night. Love you too, Linda. Um, and we're going to talk about different things that we're going to go out of the actually the Methodist lectionary, but we're not going to be a secret where we're at like we do now. We're going to, we are going to do that Monday though. We got a great place to go. Uh, yeah. But we're going to be at some of the stuff we're doing, like we do a Monday, Thursday. We're going to be at the church. Uh, the youth put on a Good Friday program. We're going to be at the church. So tune in every day next week. We're going to have something special every single night next week for Holy Week just to help celebrate. No, I can't believe that's next week already. I know it. It's the best time that, uh, of our whole lives is, is Holy Week and what it stands for. Yeah. So anyway, here we are Monday night. Uh, we're at a new place. Uh, throw your guesses out there. Yeah. Hi, Vince. Hi, Lee. Uh, but where we are, where we were last week, I'm going to go through some some guesses here. So we yeah, had some. Uh, I think these we people all them. got it right, or no? These. This is what these people guessed. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, those are good really guesses. Good guesses. And they were close. But we only had one that got it right. Uh, Anita, Frankie, Kim Brown, Kim Brown Susan Osborne, all guessed. Hi, His house ministry. His house men's home. A uh, woman's home. awesome, and they awesome a guesses, of, and they are a lot of homes in Claremore. Those great were guesses, great guesses. Uh, but but they were um, they're wrong. wrong. <laughs> Gong. But Carrie Sowers, Sowers, uh -huh. I saying that right? Uh -huh. I know Carrie. I yep. want to make sure I said it right. You got it right, and it is. Uh, we have a special guest here tonight to actually talk about yeah. this. I'm so excited. Hi. It's the first time we've done this. That's why we have masks on, uh, and she's going to come in and tell you. Dude, her passion will come through the phone. If the phone starts getting blurry, it's her excitement. So, so Nicole, come in here and tell everybody about where we were last Hi. week. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so they were at the new Freedom Followers Ministries Women and Children Home that opened up on Saturday, actually. Okay. Okay. So it opened up Saturday. It is a 10-bed and children home. It is right here in Claremore. Uh, we are so excited about it, you guys. It is, it is, the whole purpose of this house is to lead women out of darkness and ignite the light of Christ and be set free. Uh, we encourage every woman, it's actually mandatory, sorry, but it's mandatory for every woman to go through a discipleship program. They will get a graduation when they're done. Uh, we have one that's starting up, it'll be 12 weeks, and when that's done, they'll do another one, and they'll do another one, and they'll do another one. Awesome. It's a minimum of one year program. Um, we listen, you guys. The help from the community just just to get this house started was overflowing. The house was fully furnished. Uh, everything that the girls needed, down to every toiletry that they needed: shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, toothbrushes, beds, sheets, pillows, hangers, like everything that they needed. You guys. Things All the little that, things that nobody even thinks yes. about. First United Methodist came through, gave us a whole bunch of food. Light of, Help, Light of Hope came through, gave us a whole bunch of toiletries. And they have everything that they need and all they have to do is start recovering. All of our women are coming from substance abuse. We do have women coming from domestic violence situations. 
And so our whole purpose is, so Hi, is, is just to give them a safe, loving, non-judgmental home that will give them an opportunity to learn how to develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and to have relationships with others. And so we're so excited about this, you guys. We're going to be doing tons of events. We have um, on on April 11th, we're doing a block party, Shoulder to Shoulder Ministries is bringing their bus with their speakers, and we're going to do a huge fundraiser for the ministry. We're going to have a raffle and a 50-50 drawing. <laughs> we're going to be doing an auction and all kinds of fun stuff. So oh, just fun. get with me if you want any information on it. You can go straight to the website and learn everything you need to know about it. But I'm just so grateful for both of you guys for coming out, and I just love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for sharing that. With your ministry and your gift. That yes. Is so fantastic. I love you guys so much. Love it. Freedom Followers Ministry. Yes, yes. Yes. We are so excited. Now, ah, the yes. house is called Freedom House or Freedom Home? Yes. So uh, each house will be named. So the first house is Freedom House off of the ministry. But each house, each house that comes after this, because we plan on doing men's homes and family homes and all that, each house will be named after somebody who has overdosed or died because of addiction. And so the next house, where the men's house will be the Nikki house, which was my little cousin that overdosed a few years ago. And, and we're going to name them after every, every addict that we've lost. So every bed represents an addict's life that's saved through this program. That's awesome. awesome. Yes. That's awesome. All right. I love you guys. Thank you, love you, yeah. Thank Thank you, you so much. Yeah. And I'm not telling where they're at. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. You need to guess where we are today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it is, it, did I not tell you she's passionate about this? Yeah. And I, <laughs> we were at the home a couple of times, and, and yeah, she does. And, and the, what the community and the people there are helping. Mm -hmm. You know, we drove there yesterday to to, to ble help bless the house. And there's a gentleman out in the driveway loading boxes up in the truck and did the yard. And I mean, it's just the thing that that I love the most about it and it goes with where we're at tonight too if you guess it right is how the community this. steps up that's exactly why we did this back to back uh, this community steps up it's not just First United Methodist Church yeah. it's not just a Baptist Church it's not just it's it's all of us I mean there's people involved in it yeah it, it, it takes a village that's right it and it's just so much fun to be a part of that so we got one person guessed it right but now all of you know where we were uh, and continue to keep me in your prayers out. there's a lot of uh, um, hi, Victoria. Three okay. Three There's three, There's beds, three beds still open. If you know somebody that needs to, yeah. that needs a, a step awesome. up. Yeah. Uh, and help. Nicole, we love you, and thank yeah. you so much for being being a part of this. And we just love it. So <laughs> guess where we're at tonight? It has something to do. Yeah. That's the only hint you're getting. It has something <laughs> yeah. to do. But here we are. So yeah. we, you know, it's, it kind of goes into what it we might, talked about. It might rain. We might be running in Yeah, it's sprinkling so we'll right see. now, but we're all right. You know, hey, we, hey we've yeah. lived through snowstorms. We've went through we're wind blowing our camera. Sugar. We've lived through uh, <laughs> trains blowing their horn yeah. in our background. Hey, Hi, big Tony. Tony's in there. Good we've to lived through um, sirens going off. We've lived through people yelling in the background. That is something. Hey, night we're talking about right so this is where we're at tonight. Um, it, it, talk, it, it goes back to what the message was about. This yes, week Victoria, and all put, your, about. put your your guess. Is yes, yeah, yes. We we encourage you. It's the little yeah, thing right now. <laughs> uh, and and what and what we just what Nicole just talked about right. isn't a little thing, but it started out with little things. It started out with her dream. It started out with all kinds of thoughts and process. Okay. Started out with a whole bunch of people bringing little things to make one great big blessing for this community. Well, and she said, she said, she said. You know about the bath products and the sheets and the towels. Yeah. Those are little things, but those are important. They add up. Yeah. They add up, and that's what our life's. Yeah. That's what our life's about. Uh, where we're where we're supposed to make Jesus famous, and that starts. It ends up with you know. I love all the great big ways we do that. Big cathedrals and churches and and well, I almost blew it. Where we're at tonight, <laughs> uh, Nicole's house. Those are great big, great great big, fantastic things that, but they all start out small, and I, I and just one I just love thought. it. One starts with a thought. Idea. Starts with a drink. We're Plan A. Plan yeah. A started with twelve disciples. <laughs> plan A, you know, fishermen and tax collectors. And look what it's look what it took. God, I think God knew what He do. He knew what He's doing. <laughs> I think Jesus knew what He was doing. Yeah. So what a great weekend! I do have something I want to do before it. Oh yeah. It, like this past Saturday night, um, the the ladies down at Children's Center uh, got good guess, Got somebody yeah. to. We'll tell you next week. Got to uh, had one of the kids write down a prayer request, and and I'm gonna unwrap it and read it tonight. 
This prayer request, and I love this, is from Kaysen. And I didn't get permission to use his last name, but his name is Kaysen. He was down there as a cute, cute, cute kid. And I love this because this is a little thing. He said, Dear Heavenly Father, dear God, I want to pray that I get to be good at baseball. <laughs> oh. uh, we'll pray you know, for you. yeah, we're going to pray yeah. for him to get good at baseball. Uh, <laughs> The little things, you know, to that little young man. You know, I remember wanting to be good at golf. I remember wanting to be good at basketball, and I, I wanted still to be want good, to be good at, at golf. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I, I haven't accomplished any of it, but but uh, I remember that being very, very important to me. Uh, it sounds being good at baseball, maybe to an adult or somebody that's suffering with with illness or somebody that's trying to figure out their place in life, seems like a small prayer, but it's not. Uh, it's important to that little boy. And uh, it's a little thing. So, so, Kaysen, we're praying for you to get better at baseball. That's, that's fantastic. <laughs> I love that. So, we have um, blessings. Anybody have some blessings or prayer requests? Because we need both on here. Make sure you write. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I know. I don't see comments. Well, we're grateful so. for you, Nicole. Oh, yeah. We're grateful Nicole. for you. We're grateful Thank the rain hasn't that. come yet. Yeah. We're grateful that... <laughs> I'm grateful that Holy Week's coming up quickly. I'm grateful for where we're at tonight. I can't wait till next week to tell you where that is. Uh, we're going to have a special guest next week to come tune in. Uh, well, I know some blessings we have here tonight. We're going to have that Holy Land meeting. If you're interested yes. in going to the Holy Land, Joe and I are going to go. Yes. And we would love to be at the Central to Campus at 7 o'clock. Yeah. Um, to, oh, and and you know, if you don't make this one, it doesn't mean you can't go. Yeah, it's uh, just an informational meeting. If you think you might be interested, just come Hi, listen and yeah. hear about yeah. what it is. Or come to the next one. Just If you can be there tonight, be there just to see. And it's 7 uh, o'clock tonight. Kimmy and, and I are going, this, yes. going on this, this we'll pilgrimage. We are going to be at in Israel. Uh, that's a blessing in itself that yep. we're able to do that. And I was going to say about the Holy Week activities. You talked about yeah. that. That's definitely a blessing. And... Um, Oh, our own Dale and Kim Brown are getting a new. That's right. They found out that it's a boy. It's a boy. So they're excited, and, and we they just want to say did come yeah. Saturday night at the yeah. very end, so we got a yeah. chance to catch up with their friends. And then we're talking more about the little things, and you know we've been praying for this Cody Wood, who this 11, 12 year old that had double lung transplant, and he's doing well. He's been discharged from the hospital. But we talked about little things and how little things, little notes of encouragement can be so important. And so I am going to send him, let's see, I have it in my pocket. I'm going to send him one of these pocket crosses. And I would love for any of you, if you would just put a comment, write something to him. I will put that on the card. And then we, you know, we can shower him with encouraging notes. And um, I just think that would be really neat for him to get in the mail. So. I encourage you to do that. Write them, yeah. write them in the comments, and then I will yeah. do that this week. So there's been a lot of people praying for Team Cody. There has. I mean, there's been and watch parties praying for great. him, and, and, and Team Cody that came from Michigan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's in Texas. Yeah. But by golly, there's a lot of people in Rogers County, Oklahoma, that's praying for this young man and his team and his family, and you you'd be surprised how much it'll mean to him yeah. uh, and the family to see comments from Oklahoma, uh, little things. Little and things. Victoria, That's awesome. yes, you're still praying for a vehicle. We've That's been right. praying for that. We, we will have continue. Been. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what, oh, this was kind of a thing, a fun thing that I found out today. Today is Oh yeah. World Water Day. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, how perfect that we have a sermon this weekend and the it was about Jesus saying, I thirst on the cross. I thought that That's was right. super cool, but but, um, or having a Dixie cup of faith. <laughs> yep, Dixie cup of faith. <laughs> but um, it's an international observance that brings attention to the importance of fresh water and it advocates for sustainable management of fresh water resources. And it was adapted by the United Nations General Assembly in 1992. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> I never knew that. It's kind of a geeky thing, but that's I like not, that. That's not a geeky thing. I, I talk about <laughs> Tying into the message. I, I mean, know. Really I just cool. thought that was really cool. I love that. So, anyway, yeah. A prayer request. We do have some more. Okay. Do you want to? Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay, we have some. Leah uh, has Vince. an unspoken prayer. We need oh, to. Oh, Vince. Yeah. Glad you were That's blessed. Probably, yes, we were glad you were. We were blessed to be there. And Sunday at 
The Baptist Church. Uh, absolutely. Sheila That's Barrett awesome. has a neck surgery coming up. Sheila, we yeah. are going to keep you in our prayers. Let's, let's remember Leah yeah, for Nicole. unspoken, Sheila for a neck surgery, Zay's grandmother Nancy's health. Yeah, need we need for to pray for her. Zay's so grandmother. Uh, Carrie Sowers. Uh, she, she's new healthy friendships, new friends, and healthy relationships. Uh, you know yeah. that's a that is yeah. a fantastic prayer. Yeah. Uh, really not that there's any that aren't good prayers, but you know one of the things we're talking about this week is is uh, trust and uh, having complete total trust. And you know, and I, and I talked about in the meeting to me, uh, trust is com complete surrender. It's um, uh, trust is it, you can't kind of trust. Uh, real trust is completely surrendering um, your ability to, and sometimes to your ability to even understand and we talk about some of the things because that's not something you just get up one day and turn on that trust takes time and it takes effort and it takes some some practices and one of the practices is prayer uh, to be able to trust God into, into maybe not answering your prayer exactly but getting where you need to be and most of the time when I pray I, I, I do pray for individual things I absolutely do that um, a lot of times I, I pray for, for peace in a situation. I pray mm -hmm. for me to be able to accept what that answer is. And, and, I, and, I, and, that, and it, that takes trust. Uh, so I like that. Th thank you, Carrie, for doing that. New and healthy friendships. It may not be the direction you want. It may not be the friends you think it's going to be. It may, not, you know, it may not be anybody you even know yet. But praying for God to provide that there is something you can trust is that he will do that. I, I like that. Liz? I got to see Liz Cloud know, this weekend. That was awesome. Yeah, was, Liz, so I'm a little angry her, with you for not staying for the service. Yeah, but, uh, her we'll make up. Brandon. Yes, we very Brandon, nice. Yeah. And he already stole my heart because he said, where's your closest golf course? <laughs> Woo! I just about <laughs> skipped service myself and went and played golf with him. Yes, I'm glad they were there. Yeah. But she, uh, she, she wants to, us to pray for God's provision financially in peace and comfort. Liz, I think everybody knows, lost her mother two weeks ago. Or is it just a week? I don't. So I we got to talk and visit because I you know everybody knows I lost my mom last week. So I kind of know last where she's year. at or last year. <laughs> and uh, and she was talking about her father and how he's dealing and how she's dealing with it. But she needs our prayer. The family needs prayer. And then of course Freedom Followers Ministry. Uh, we want to pray for the occupants uh, that are there and also the occupants that will be there. Uh, we want to pray for all them and then pray over the Holy Week uh, activities. So these new ones. Those are what I wrote down. Right oh, yeah. yeah. Nicole's discernment. Yeah, yep, right. absolutely. Crystal and Tim McHugh. Crystal lost her father. Yeah. Uh, and they're having to handle that. Yeah. And then oh, we talked about Vince. Victoria's car. Friends going through marital problems. Right. You know, there's a lot of that going on. Uh, I don't think that changes. And I don't think COVID added or subtracted sometimes. You know, sometimes actually COVID has taken away the focus of some of the things that we should be praying for. We get so tuned in to the stuff that COVID has has caused, and I was telling in our men's group on Saturday morning, if you ever want to hang out with a bunch of really good dudes, come to Saturday morning, South Campus in the Children's Center at 7 a.m. We have coffee and we talk, we cry, we laugh, we tease each other. Um, but, you know, we were talking about, uh, one of the things I said was, um, you won't hear me say too many negative things about COVID anymore. I, I, now, I'll tell you what, we all know about them. <laughs> We all know yeah. the mask. We all know the all the bad stuff that's come from COVID. We know all that. And we and I still pray for uh, resolve for that. But you know what I focus on COVID? Because I have seen so many good things come out of this. I've seen churches reach people they've never reached before. I've seen people grab a hold of faith they've never grabbed a hold of before. I've seen relationships healed because of it. And that's where my focus is. And when I say it, it doesn't mean I don't know that there's bad things that happen with COVID. There is a lot of good things we don't pay attention to that's happened because of COVID. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying God created COVID for it. I'm not saying any of that stuff. I don't, I'm not God. I don't know what happened. But I do know this. God has made some beautiful things happen because of COVID. And, and that's what I focus on. And that reminds me. One thing we should probably talk about real quick is um, on Easter, we're going to do a victory cross. Oh, and I'm glad you brought that up. you talk about... God turning something ugly oh, and yeah. Torture into device. something beautiful. 
I, I just love that illustration and I look forward to that. So yeah. Bring cut Saturday flowers. Night, bring flowers. Not this night. Saturday. No. Easter, weekend, Easter weekend. Easter Saturday. Bring cut flowers. We're going to have a cross there that we're going to make look beautiful. And I love your analogy because that's I exactly what it, it is. Yeah. The cross is a torture device. And we turn it into something beautiful. Yeah. Uh, God took the ugliest thing that ever happened on the planet. He came here to save us and we killed him. Huh. And then he turned it into to saving us. Uh, it's amazing. So yes, bring cut flowers. And then Easter we're going to go to the Hope Service at yes. the pond. And if you've not been to that, it's fantastic. It's just yes, really, at the really Central really Campus. So, so we will be done just with. Just plug that stuff. Right? Yeah, no, that's that's part of Holy Week. <laughs> we're going to finish our service uh, Easter weekend on Saturday night at seven o'clock. Easter kind of. See I how windy it gets. <laughs> but I will get done in time. <laughs> For us to get to the central campus at 8 o'clock, we're going to have a hope service. Yeah. We're going to have prayers, and we're going to light little candles, and we're going to put, put them in the, the pond. pond. It's, just it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, and it'll get us ready to go home and get some sleep, and yeah. then come back at 6 o'clock, 6.30, 6 a.m., or 6.30 a.m. for the um, sunrise, sunrise service yeah. that's also at the pond. Yeah. And it's cool because when we get there... Uh, the little lights are still out there on the water. Yeah, uh, it's cool. For, they stay up. They stay yeah. on all night. So yeah, some we're, of them. <laughs> no, so all of them. <laughs> yeah, and then the other thing I was going to mention tonight, um, movie night is the Friday and yeah. Saturday before. It's they, this weekend. Yes, it's this. Oh, it is this weekend. Yeah. This coming Friday, Saturday. Uh, the time has changed. It was at six. It's now at seven. Oh. Okay. Uh, the first movie is starting at seven. Well, that's why they didn't do the six because the sun's right there somewhere. Yeah. So all the movies, Saturday okay. and Sunday, have changed. Or Friday and Kids Saturday. Kids movie first. Kids movie, and, and then, then the, adult movie. Well, it's Sunday. not an adult movie. It's well. it's a kids. Gray said that at church. <laughs> well, Gray said that at church. We were making fun of him. Uh, seven o'clock is when they start Friday and Saturday. They're they're going to start at seven o'clock instead. Oh my gosh. Okay. So our prayer focus. I thought I had a thought today about you know when I'm willing to change. God can transform my life, right? Yep. So I think, and sometimes that's just little by little, but I think that for today, our prayer, our prayer focus this week, if, if you want to think about something, um, let's pray for those of us that need help letting go of negative behaviors. And you know, that kind of fits in with, um, you know, Nicole's Freedom Followers House. Um, I'm sure they're going to go struggle through some of those things, and we all do. I mean, we're all we all have those negative behaviors that we need to work through. So let's pray for everyone that has those. Issues. Yeah, well, which is yeah. all of us. Which is all of us. Yeah. You know, it, it, just just a thought to to think about the prayer focus. Yeah, I, I and I like that because it, it goes into well, obviously, goes some stuff. Uh, it goes into. Uh, Having trust, um, having trust in our prayer, having trust in scripture, having yeah, trust in baptism. Right negative away. Uh, yeah, nice. yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, I talk about all the time, a, a gentleman that used to pray for his ex-wife and pray for her health and pray for her happiness. and then, But he always ended his prayer with meaning it and God, asking God to help him yeah. mean it. Uh, help him pray the negative way. That, you know, we, we all yeah. struggle with that. Um, I, I sit in the preacher meeting today. I struggle sometimes with trusting my prayer, trusting that anybody's listening. Uh, we've had a message about that not too long ago, and it, it comes down to trust. Yeah. And um, those are all negative thoughts. I mean, you could tie negative into about anything in life. I just talked about it with COVID. I'm not talking about the negative things of COVID anymore. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I like that, Kimmy. That's, yeah. that's really good. So anyway, you ready to say a prayer? Yeah, we could pray out. Um, okay. And again... Holy Week's coming up. This week's Palm Sunday and Palm Saturday. Hi, Gloria. During the trial storms of life. Yeah, hi, Gloria. Hi, Vince. Oh, good, Vince. Yes. Yeah, he gave us a verse. I yes, he it. did. Vince Thank is good you. at that. Thank you. He is good at that. Vince is good at that. So let's, let's pray real quick, okay? Yeah. Here we go. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us the freedom to choose, but giving us the strength to choose you, to give us the scripture to tell us how to give us prayer to speak directly to you. Uh, we, we ask for str more strength and trusting, trusting uh, the prayers we, we are saying are being heard, trusting in the result of the prayer, uh, trusting and believing your answer and not, and not fighting for it.
all that. We want to we want to pray today to pick up Leah. She's got some struggles. Uh, she's got some unspoken needs. We we want you to help her help guide her through that. Help her understand what need uh, that you're going to fill is what she is what she is the direction she needs to go. We want to we want to pray for Sheila Baird. Who, who pray for her doctors uh, going in for a neck surgery. That's scary. Uh, any kind of any time you go to a doctor, it can be scary. Help give her strength to get through that. Pray for Zay and her grandmother, Nancy's health. Uh, help guide her through the issues she's going through. We want to pray for Carrie Sowers uh, uh, to get find those friendships that that you create. Uh, find that love and powerful relationships that that are are joined together through you through the Holy Spirit. Help her find that. Help her help guide her. Help Liz get through the situation with her and her her father and the loss of her mother, give them peace and understanding on how to get through that. Uh, we want to lift up Freedom Followers Ministry and the occupants of this beautiful home and the, the courage and energy that Nicole has. Wow, uh, let that be con become contagious. I see so often where anger just spreads like wildfire. We want to pray right now that love does that, that love love becomes that, that wildfire that we see right here in our community and let that be contagious. We want to pray for Holy Week, our Holy Week, uh, how important that is. You know, we lost that last last year in our churches. Now, we didn't lose Holy Week. We don't even have the ability to do that. But we sure lost the ability to do it the way we used to do it. And mm -hmm. and you, the connection, and you've given us that back. And uh, we want to help help get us through that. Help get, help us understand how to do it with masks and, and with distancing to make sure that we don't we don't cause health issues to anybody, but that we can we can create spiritual issues with everybody. Uh, we ask for that help, and the guys, we can't figure that out on our own. We can only do that through you. We want to pray for Vince, his friend, has had some marital issues. Help get through that. That's tough. Uh, Crystal, Tim McHugh lost a father. Uh, help them get through that. Help Victoria find transportation. Uh, that's so important in our world down here, and she's looking to help her. Give her some freedom so that she can spread you, uh, make Jesus famous. That that Jesus, how important all that is. We ask all this in your great name, Heavenly Father. And thank you for keeping the rain away from us. And help Casey become a better baseball player. Uh, and use that to make you famous. Uh, we love you, Lord. And we ask all this in your name. Amen. And don't forget you, of course, if you have prayer requests and you're watching this later, because I know not everybody sees it yeah. live. Put those in the chat because Joe and I pray over those. So. Teddy, you're right. Love never yeah. fails. Love yeah. never fails. So this okay. week, next week, tune in. Where's we got guesses? a special guest telling Where's you where we're guesses? at, and it's it's Look. it's awesome. Uh, it's uh, really awesome, and um, we'll see you this Saturday. We are hi Debbie. Hi, Debbie. We are uh, we're going to be talking about trust. We're going to be about Ooh. talking about real real trust so tune in this saturday night or come and see us live at gathering at the south campus saturday night service and next week we'll be back at a new place with a special guest and we're going to do something every every day next week to celebrate holy week we love you uh we miss you we hope to see you this weekend bye-bye